I look a bit of a hot mess right now, but the world is a mess, so it's fine. Got back from New York nearly a week ago now, and the world <laughs> has changed. Um, I work from home anyway, so working from home isn't anything new to me. But having Scott at home whilst I work from home is something <laughs> new to me. I said I was going to do more like day-to-day -day vlogging, and I thought, what a better perfect, what a better perfect? What a better time to start than, you know, everyone staying at home for a long time, an indefinite amount. Um, one thing that I need to do is send the winner of my Prada bag giveaway their bag. So I'm gonna parcel that up and take it to the post office. So I've got some ASOS returns, so we're gonna do that too. And then I don't know when I'll next be going to the post office, so this is kind of like, get everything done, get it sent, fast we can. Also, I figured if Scott's been working from home for a while, maybe we can make TikToks together. So I've ordered us a ring light so that we can do some TikTok dances. <laughs> this is the vlog, Scott. Mm? I'm vlogging the week, oh. so you can say hi. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's so shy now. He, believe me, he's not normally shy. Believe me! So yeah, I just went and did some exercise and now I showered. <laughs> this vlog is gonna be so interesting. <clears throat> I did get a delivery uh, from AS Clo when I was in New York. So I wanna show you guys what I got in that. Um, I think that will be nice. And other than that, I feel like I'm just gonna vlog my week and see like how it goes and what I get to. Um, working from home life kind of vibe. So yeah, I'll go to the post office and then we'll do the Korean clothing haul when I come back. Feeling a bit Jimmy Neutron in my hair. And um, this is one of the new jumpers from AS Clo that they sent to me. I got it in grey and I got it in white as well. Um, me and Scott were gonna wear them when we went to Tokyo, but we're not anymore. We're supposed to go to Tokyo on the 26th of March um, for cherry blossoms. Um, and then I was supposed to go to LA with my friends uh, for Coachella and see our friend Emma for her birthday. Um, but I'm having to, what I'm gonna do today or over the next few days is go through all the hotels and the flights and try and get all my money back for everything. Okay, we're back home now. I have a lot of volume in my hair today. I don't really know what's going on. But first things first, Perel. Purell, how do you say it? Also, I got sent this big box and I don't know what's in it, so let's go open it. I really honestly have no idea what's in this box. I only have scissors in my bag because of the trip to the post office because I had to wrap up the package I was sending. I don't usually carry scissors around. Oh, it's my box from here. Oh, this is like a subscription-based streetwear box. I didn't even, I didn't even forgot this was coming. They've sent me three boxes. Amidst all of this, I completely forgot this was even coming. So, <clears throat> I guess let's see what's inside them. Oh my days, what is this? We have a Balenciaga box and Prada trousers, shorts, what are these? <gasps> They're Prada joggers. What the hell, this is crazy. I told them that I like Prada and Balenciaga. <gasps> That's a card holder, that is so cute. What the hell? Another box, yeah. I'm gonna change the way that I'm opening it because I feel like the lighting is weird. Okay, let's open the second one. Oh my god, it's trainers. Balenciaga tra I'm very shook by this whole thing right now. What? Red track sneakers. This is honestly crazy. Like, how have they just sent me these? <laughs> what? So I forgot that was even happening. Like, they sent me a DM a few months ago asking if they could send me a box and I was like yeah of course like um why not um and then 
fucking Balenciaga and Prada stuff rocks up. I'm like, a bit shook. He, I think he works by you sign up and you pay for the box, but then you obviously get a lot more value than you paid. You get like products that are worth more, but you don't know what product, what the products are going to be. I think that's how it works. Don't quote me on that. Um, but yeah, I'm so, so happy with those. Thank you so much guys at Heat for sending those. That's crazy. Okay, so I was supposed to film an IGTV and show you the little Korean clothing haul today, but that's not happened. Um, currently feeling no inspiration or motivation to do much. And also I look like, yeah, I feel like my hair is super poofy today, like Jimmy Neutron style. I'm not loving it. Um, what else was I going to say? Also, I just had to um, rearrange or basically apply for a voucher for our flights to Tokyo um, because, yeah, we can't fly. <laughs> um, so I've applied for a voucher from British Airways um, for the amount that we paid for the flights that we can redeem in the future. And then, um, what else did I do? I've asked for a refund from the hotels that... Um, we'd arranged to stay in Tokyo and then um, I've got the trip to LA after as well so we I've emailed the hotels in LA to try and get a refund for those I actually got one of the refunds already which was really good um, but then to, for LA we're flying with Virgin Atlantic and they are saying not to contact them unless you're flying in the next 72 hours so we're gonna have to wait a bit before we deal with the flights to LA um, and that's me and two other people, two of my friends, Joanne and Danielle, so it's not just me on those flights. So I'm just wondering, and like, I'm definitely going to go back to LA this year, if I can, hopefully. Um, but I don't know if Joanne and Danielle will be able to get the time off again, or, you know, arrange that kind of trip again. So I don't know what's going to happen to those flights. I feel like today is a bit of a write-off, and then tomorrow I will be fully motivated and determined and galvanized and ready to take the crown. Currently eating a bag of chili heatwave Doritos and drowning my sorrows about our Tokyo trip because that trip was a present that I got to Scott, that I gave to Scott for his birthday this year. Um, and we were going, we wanted to go on those specific dates to see the cherry blossoms in Tokyo. My friend VA is living out there as well. So we were going to visit her too. So it's just, a very, very strange time, and I'm sure a lot of people have had to cancel um, trips and events and meetings and everything. So it's just a bit shit at the moment, and everyone's a bit down. Um, but I think it's changing every day, so we will see what tomorrow brings. Good morning, guys. I just had a shower, and I am currently cleaning my retainers. It's very real, isn't it? This is very Joel real. Real life, you know? Um, so yeah, this is gross. I actually got some new retainers, so they're not actually that gross. I don't know if you know, but I did Invisalign a few years ago um, to straighten my teeth. If you watch old videos, you can see that my teeth were all over the place. Um, so now I have to wear these retainers every night, um, but I got a new pair the other day, so because the last ones I'd had for four years. I also like playing loud music when I get ready in the morning and Scott um, always says, this isn't a discotheque, so I'm gonna go annoy Scott. Ooh, do you think you are? Okay, so I've just finished getting myself ready, and for someone that works from home all the time, my advice to you would be it would be to set an alarm, get up in the morning, get ready, get dressed, um, have a list of things that you want to accomplish that day, and just get down to doing it. Like, I, yesterday, had a complete flop and fail of a day. Like, I wanted to film an IGTV and show you guys what I got from AS Clo, and I didn't. Um, and it's okay to have those days as well, but on days where you want to get stuff done, Set an alarm, get up, get showered, get ready. That's what I've just done. And now I am gonna film my IGTV. Oh yeah, guys, I completely forgot to tell you that I would talk to you about my Q&A that I did on Instagram last night. So I answered a few last night and I answered a few this morning as well. And just like what star sign I am. Uh, will I continue to upload videos? Yes, of course. 
Um, are you in quarantine? I said, I think we're calling it social distancing. All oh, sis, someone asked how tall I am. Top or bottom, and I said, you're skating on thin ice, motherfucker. Someone asked me my favorite food, and I said dim sum. Um, me and Scott have nearly been together two years. Oh my god. Uh, how's NYC? Which Kim Petra song are you? And I said death by sex. <laughs> Uh, someone asked, how can I become a fashion model? A lot of people think I'm a model, and that's just not the case. Um, someone asked me, how long do you see YouTube working out for you as a career path? And I was like, well, I've been doing Instagram and YouTube for five years full time now, so it's going pretty well. <laughs> Um, someone asked if I'm getting married to Scott, and I said, we're still trying to decide what to cook for dinner tonight, so why don't you saw the down, Missy. Someone drew me as a Simpson, and I'm shook. Hex Coles, that's their username, and I'm so, so happy about this. That's a picture that I took in New York as well. I think that's so, so cute. So I just finished filming my IGTV, and now I'm gonna show you guys what I received from AS Clo. This was sent to me as a gift. They also sent me a lot of Korean snacks as well, which was very, very cute. Couldn't have been better timing because now my and Scott's cupboards are stocked up with ramyun and Korean crisps and chocolate, which is great. So AS Clo is a Korean website that I shop at all the time. Um, and in recent years, they've started sending me pieces, which is very kind of them. I think I've shopped with them for about two years now. If this is one of your first videos of mine, I have done like Korean clothing hauls in the past where I explain how to shop on a website if you are confused. But today I'm just gonna show you pieces that I, well, I picked these out and then they sent them to me, which is really kind. Um, the first is a pair of customized Converse. Um, so they're basically a pair of Converse that have a sole attached to the bottom. They look like it's literally, it looks like they've literally just had them stuck on. Um, but I love these. I used to own a pair of like knockoff Prada brogues when I was younger, um, the platform ones. Um, and these remind me of that kind of era and they're just so cute. I don't know, it looks like it's pretty secure on there, like it doesn't look like it's coming off. Um, these are like $75 on their website, I think. Um, I got them in a size nine, a 43, which is 265 centimeters, millimeters. <laughs> centimeters would be a lot. Um, but I just thought they were really cute, so. Yes. Next up is a pair of slacks. Now these are AS Clo own brand. So they have some of their own brand pieces, but other stuff they obviously um, sell from different brands in Korea. Um, but this is their own brand pair of slacks. I got them in a large, because I'm a 32 waist and I feel like if I get it in a large, I can always get it like made smaller in the waist. But if it's too small, then that's rubbish. Um, these are like a smart pair of slim kind of trousers. They feel very, very luxurious and comfortable. These are $53 and they um, they just look very clean and kind of minimal and are a, like kind of basic piece that you want um, for your wardrobe. So I think these are a really good option if you're looking for something like this. Oh, I've been saying the prices, but I've actually been reading the them in Korean won. So they're actually... 75,000 Korean won and then 53,000 Korean won and this shirt is 43,000 Korean won. Um, I know that's not very helpful, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just the links that I've clicked on. I've clicked on their um, Korean website and not the the international version. Um, so asclo.net is the one you want, not asclo.net. Yeah, so I got this batik shirt. It's like a really oversized, very floaty. I was gonna wear this in Tokyo because I thought it would be lightweight. Um, and something kind of visually appealing. I don't know why, but I've been kind of obsessed with this kind of like batik kind of artwork. I've I had another shirt like this in the past as well, but it's way too small. But this one is just the right size, which is very, very nice. Next up are these two sweatshirts. They are 38,000 Korean one on the Korean version of the website. Um, they're just two plain oversized sweatshirts that say sewing on them. Um, I got it in a cream and in a grey colour. I love both the colours, but I actually get, got these in with the intent of me and Scott wearing them together. Like, he wears the grey one, I wear the white one. Couples dressing, couples matching, I think it's really cute. Oh, these ones are in dollars. I don't know what's going on. These ones are $43. They are a contrast stitch pair of jeans which I got in a size large. They're very, very comfortable. They're kind of lightweight in terms of denim, like they're not the most heavy duty denim that I've ever had. 
Um, if anything, these feel the most flimsy out of everything I received. Um, I still like them and I think they look really nice. Um, but I feel like everything else so far has been really well made, whereas these ones don't feel as well made. I don't know if it's the contrast stitch, the nature of it, because it's kind of coming out in certain places. But yeah, they look really nice on. The final thing is probably my favourite thing ever, and it is a navy suit, right? But the blazer is super, super oversized and very cropped, which is so nice and refreshing to wear because I don't have anything like this. The trousers are really wide, fit me really well. Very, very, very happy with this. Um, it is 139,000 Korean won. Um, and yeah, it's just super oversized. The sleeves are really, really big. It's just a really, really nice suit. And I love, yeah, the crop of the blazer is really cool. And that is everything I picked up from S. Clo. Um, I will leave links to everything in the description box below. Obviously, this is a weekly vlog and I'm just including it in my vlog, so now let's get on with the rest of my life. I've just been moving my mirror around my room to take outfit pictures, because I'm going to have to get creative staying inside for the next few weeks, or however long. It's times like these when I thank my prior self my past version of myself for creating an aesthetic room <laughs> because now I can take pictures in it. People like laugh at me when I was like putting together my office and like changing the floor and like getting my shelves and everything. Um, <clears throat> and I'm like, you know, it's to take pictures of my outfits and people laugh at me and they're like, that's so dumb. And I'm like, well, yeah, but that's how I make money. Like that's my livelihood. So I have to have a space where I can like, create content and imagery for my Instagram that's very like on brand and you know you gotta do what you gotta do and now I thank myself from the past thank you Joel thank you for creating this space to create content who's a good boy who's a good boy sure so it's lunchtime and Scott is gonna have the carbonara uh, spicy ramen that the guys from AS Close sent us and I am gonna have um, this one, which I believe is one of the ramen that is included in the ingredients in the film Parasite to make the ramdon noodles, I think. Um, so this one's supposed to be spicy as well. I eat um, shin ramyun all the time. They actually sell this near us in the little um, Sainsbury's even. So I'm quite used to having shin ramyun. Um, and I've tried this one before and it's amazing. So that's why I'm gonna let Scott have this packet. Um, but I've never tried this one, so it should be quite interesting. So this is the finished result. I've added some chicken and egg as well, so let's see how they are. So we're gonna go to the supermarket and pick up a few bits and bobs. Try. <laughs> Try to, because Try. people seem to have gone slightly insane and are buying lots of things that they don't really need. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can just grab the bits that we need for us, just for the next couple of days and that's it. We don't want to go into like panic mode and buy loads of stuff that we don't need. Not yet. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> In a bit. And Scott has decided to wear the trainers I got gifted from Heat. Ah. I don't think in a million years I ever thought you would have worn a pair of Balenciaga sneakers from me. <laughs> no. They are size 8 and I'm normally size 9, but yeah. they actually fit okay. So. These are an 8 and I'm normally a 9 too, so. Yeah. But we're matching now. Yeah. Hey guys, it's... Thursday? I'm kind of losing track of the days, even though I work from home anyway. I'm actually wearing one of the outfits that I recommended to wear when you're working from home on my Instagram TV yesterday. And now I'm just getting ready. I've gone out to do some exercise this morning and then I nipped to the local cafe just to get a takeaway of um, coffee for me and Scott and some little pastries that they do. They seem fine, they're still open, and there was a couple of people actually in there. Um, but it's a little independent cafe, so I feel like it's good to support places like that at the moment. I also have a video call scheduled with um, three of my really good friends, and we're going to video call to catch up. Um, that's another thing that you can do at the moment. Oh, the washing machine's done. I'm just going to get myself a bit more presentable. My hair's a mess, but... With bleached hair, there's no, if there's, if you don't have any reason to like wash it or put any heat on it or anything, just leave it because I know I look a mess, but the health of my hair is important. I'm just going to do a bit of natural, a natural look today. So I'm going to, oh my God, I hate the beep from my washing machine so much. It's one of the most, it infuriates me massively. 
And now the sirens. So I just used my benefit. Oh my god, it's happening again. I can't, I can't deal with this. Just use my benefit. Give me brow on my eyebrows. And then to curl my eyelashes, I use an eyelash curler. Obviously. I'm not even going to mention it anymore because it will just make me angry. Pretty. Um, and then I have some like of that Givenchy glow gel. Oh my god, I've got the tripod, like the gorilla pod on my camera and it's just... Hello. Um, it's got like fake tan in it, like beads and stuff. You can see. It just makes you look a bit more awake, especially when you're like me and literally look dead all the time because of how pale you are. But it's annoying because some of the things that you get out of it don't have any of the tan beads in. It just makes me feel a bit more awake, you know? I'm gonna put some shine spray in my hair. Not that my friends care what I look like at all. <laughs> maybe I should put some hairspray in my hair as well. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. This is my work from home, um, comfy, cozy, crazy hair look. I got this package, which I think is some new phone cases, so I'll open it with you guys and show you what's what. Excuse me, baby. Can I sit down? <laughs> I bought those masks ages ago. They don't fit very well. You twist them at the ear. Yeah, but that's what I was doing, but they still don't. They keep sliding off. Yeah, but they're just like surgical ones. Also, you're not supposed to wear it unless you think you're sick. There we go. Scott's annoyed because he thought Animal Crossing would come today. Are you sad? Yeah. Aww. It'll definitely come tomorrow and you're not, you're not working at the weekend anyway, so you can play it there. Ooh. So do you remember my um, LV phone case? That was from Offbeat Tees. And they've got new ones as well. Tees. Oh my God, they sent me AirPod cases too. These are so cute, guys. So we have two cases. We have a hologram LV case and a black LV case. I'll take them out of the packet. And then we also have Two AirPod cases, one's black and one's hologram as well. How cute. Really bendy. You'd think they'd be really hard because I had the like legit LV phone case and that was heavy AF and was rigid. Whereas these are like bendy cases, but they look rigid. And this is the LV one. I mean the hologram one. And these are the AirPod cases. How cute are they? <laughs> VA style. VA style. <laughs> So I just FaceTimed um, with Emma, VA, Dodo, and then I had another video chat with my friend Tom. Seems like video chat seemed the best way to kind of like catch up and just enjoy spending time with your friends at the moment. <laughs> I don't know what me and Scott are going to do for dinner. I'm going to go look in the fridge, see what we've got going on. I definitely feel like I made a mistake showing Scott what TikTok is and telling him to download it because he's now already pranked me today. If you want to go see him pranking me, check out his TikTok. Okay, so quick update. We know what we want to make for dinner. We want to make this Japanese dish and we actually need celery and um, carrots. So I'm going to go to Sainsbury's and see if I can find those things. <laughs> this vlog is gonna be so weird to look back on because I'm gonna be like, do you remember that time when you couldn't buy anything in the shops because everyone was going crazy? <laughs> I'm back and we needed celery and I got celery. We needed mozzarella and I got grated mozzarella. We needed carrots and I got a pack of baby carrots for kids because that's all they had left. <laughs> I've never been so happy to see celery in my life. Honestly, it's so, so stupid. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Panic buying will not help anything or anyone. Yeah. I'm cooking dinner. I can never remember the name of this dish, but I will show you the process that I'm making it. And I'm watching Lizzie from Shot From The Street because I love watching her vlogs. She's currently talking about coronavirus whilst I'm making a vlog during the pandemic. <laughs> Huge 
Um, so now I'm waiting for the sushi rice to kind of steam and finish. So I'll leave that for 10 minutes. I also picked this up a few weeks ago from Tesco. It's like rice seasoning. So I'm gonna use that on the rice as well. I realize you didn't really sign up for, oh. I realize you didn't really sign up for cooking content with me, but that's what you're getting at the moment, so. I'm gonna put the rice in. It looks horrible at the moment. But I assure you, it tastes amazing. Sprinkle on breadcrumbs, cheddar cheese. So this is the finished dish, which will be now put into the oven for 15, 20 minutes until it starts to go kind of crispy and golden on the top. Beautiful. So good. Oh yeah. Just stop, stop. So do we just leave it now and then go get ready and then come back? Or do I just publish this and but not publicly and save that? Clip? Why are you asking me? I knew. I don't know how to do it. No, 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 you don't snap there. Yes, you do. No, you don't can watch it now. Didn't even notice no, the punches. Snap. Oh, yes. oh, oh, okay, okay. I think we did that bit too yeah, slow. Yeah, we did it too slow. Oh, I forgot it. <gasps> hey guys, so I just spent some time posting Minus Scott's TikToks, editing, all that kind of jazz. And I just spent some time tidying my room as well as taking some alpha photos of today's look. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna go make some lunch now just with whatever I can find in the fridge. We've got quite a good amount of food, like I don't think there's any reason to like panic and go and buy multiples of stuff that we don't need. Um, Animal Crossing should be arriving today, which I'm very, 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 very excited about. Um, I was a bit, I was umming and ahhing whether to buy it or not. And then I was like, do you know what? If we're gonna be stuck inside for a while, I may as well have something to play. Um, <laughs> another life that I can jump into and get lost in. Sounds great right about now. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go make some lunch. And then I'll catch you in a bit. I just found out I have a work call. <clears throat> clearing my throat. I just found out I have a work call at three o'clock um, just to discuss like future projects and how they're gonna change. I have some long-term contracts and we need to discuss like ways in which um, the content will change from now, from now on just with the current situation of the world. Um, so yeah, I have a call um, with some brands at three o'clock and <clears throat> And apart from that, me and Scott are just gonna chill and then like make dinner and play with the rat babies. So I think I'm gonna sign off here. Thank you for joining me for my first working from home week. Um, I hope that you're all staying safe and keeping healthy. It's a really weird time for us all. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts and feedback from my content in the comments below. Like what do you wanna see more of? Is there anything you wanna see less of? It'd be really interesting just to hear what you guys are going through at the moment because we're obviously all in this together. How's the musical? Um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I guess we're doing the same again next week. Bye.